Welcome to Greenville, South Carolina, the site of the SEC Women's Tournament, and where the number two seed, South Carolina, is in quest of its fifth Already straight. Already going to start out, and box and one. Bianca Cuevas as the shadow of Chelsea Dungy. That's way Jalen Mason started yesterday. Popping it from the three-point line. And the South Carolina lineup, Dawn Staley has used 12 different starting lineups. Bianca Jackson starting for Taya Cooper at one of the guard spots. And Alexis Jennings get the ba gets the basket. We heard our studio folks talking about how they thought they might want to establish Jennings. Early, Ty Harris, the pick and the score. But she made the all freshman team for the Big 12. Toll free up and in. Usually she's a three point specialist. Perhaps the best perimeter defender on this team. Also rebounds the ball well. Long pass over to Jackson. She's a good three point shooter. And that one took a while, but it fell in. Bianca hasn't taken a lot of threes this year, but shoots at a good percentage. And right away, there you see an example. Arkansas runs the floor very well. eventually into the hands. Taylor Thomas, toll free, got it over Jennings and into the bottom of the bucket. He is off the mark. Arkansas has been one of the best three-point shooting teams in the league this year. Bianca Jackson's team to the hole at SEC this season. There's Kiki, and there's two points. Robert Harrigan has 21 starts on the season. And one of the best shot blockers in the league. Nice turnaround for Arkansas. Now South Carolina in a man-to-man. -man. Well then aggressively to the basket. And of course Baker pops out. Got a good look, put it in. Senior from Malvern, Arkansas, Raven North 2017, Cross, Baker actually here. And just, we actually hugged. Like, Coach Day and I, we don't even have moments where we hug. But we actually hugged, I can't I get like, much oh my God, because it's not 5 on 5 just yet. But I do kind of find ways to just keep my butt going and my cardio ready for next season. I want to know what you're working on to improve in your game. Oh, what am I working on to improve my to game? To go back to that starting oh, line. Now. Started every game, single game as a junior last year. Jennings with a couple of fakes and the payoffs. 7-0 South Carolina run as they've retaken the lead. Monk drives, scores, and her turn. Dungey guarded by Jennings. And Dungey is really good. That's her first field goal tonight. Right-handed player, but really <laughs> How about that? Just kind of lulled, climbing the sleep, and popped in the three. Another giveaway. Mason had toll free to her right, but decided to take it all the way, and it worked out. Timeout on the floor. The My Mason will do is he'll move Grissett away. So she, her person, there's Kiki Herbert here again, but the person can pay off, off, and it can be like Wall Street. Toll free with a very long distance three. Saved in twice by Arkansas. And the loose ball picked up by Henderson. It's a two on nothing. And it's a one point, or two point game. Herbert Harrigan has really come in and made a difference. She split the double team, sliced it, got to the rim. 11 points, she's hit all four of her shots. Williams slipping the basket. The paint points are even, but South Carolina is being hurt by poor outside shooting. They have missed 11 of 12 threes. And speaking of threes, points. Kleine got it bleeding into a spy. Cuevas Moore, big three. That is only the second three hit by South Carolina in this game. And then Dungey. Which way did she go? She went Allowing her to go Set. left. Toll free off the curl. Wow, toll free. Everybody down, the senior point guard playing with the hurt hand. Another one, this one from Mason. Jalen Mason. With her third three of the night. Cuevas Moore. 
she's got two in a row. Put it together for the good of the team. And it seems to be working for Arkansas. Harris with the three. And after hitting just one and 12 seconds from distance. Monk. Eight point advantage. Monk's first three, Jennings. Coming up, bully ball inside. Who can get stops? We lost more goes down, and Monk took advantage. Monk, Malika Monk, getting it done, breaking ankles, and the bench. That's a party for Arkansas. Herbert Harrigan, she is unstoppable. She has tied her season high with 19 points. And here come the Gamecocks. Harris. Mike Neighbors not calling a timeout yet, now he does. Tony has the assignment to stay with Dungy. But Mason just continues to be cold-blooded from out there. Harris drives, lifts it up in it. Mason, that is her first miss of the night. Harris thought about the three, takes the easier route. One point game. Dungey found the path to the basket and put it in, driving right. Ty Harris has scored nine points in this quarter. Cooper inside to Jennings, taking on Thomas, who has three fouls. The second time worked. Dungey that time saw the lane open to the left. It's getting the line a lot tonight. Dungey again down the left side, cannot stop. Dungey. Mason has missed two straight shots, and now South Carolina can tie it or take the lead. And they do! Ty Harris banks it in! Entertaining game this has been. The winner moves on to the semifinals tomorrow to take on the winner of our last game, Auburn and Texas A&M. Chelsea Dungey. What a marvelous player. Shot clock into single digits. And a steal by Monk. They're not going to catch her. Scored 10 points off of turnovers in this game. Inside, that looked like a risky pass. A good second effort by Williams. Dungey working on Herbert Harrigan. Puts it up left in. Of course it goes in. Herbert Harrigan, short, nope, and it was again with Chelsea Dungy. Now the month has had to dribble more with her left hand because her right one is hurt. Toll free! Front free! Harris drives and hits for her game. And as Time you out. said, it's terrifying. She's only a sophomore. Herbert Harrigan adds on to her career night. Fans want a shot, toll free block, Herbert Harrigan. Alexis toll free, the three point specialist. They're going back to the semis for the first time since 2002 and the first time since 93, a 10 seed has made it all the way to the semis. 
as Mike Neighbors clears his bench. South Carolina has lost an SEC tournament game for the first time in five years. The Razorbacks do it again. Back-to-back -back upsets. They're on to the semis.